<laughs> so Taya, here we are. Yes. How are you doing? Good. Well, Surviving very well. This is like you are you you're up the ladder upon your musical platform here to launch the new album. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we're just we're just in our local hood. It's quite nice. How how does it feel? How long has this taken? It's two years in the making. Very excited. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Just want to get on with it now. Yeah. You know, hit the road. So we uh, we started our, our basically started playing with each other in a pub just 15 minutes walk from here. Oh, wow. So mm. it's quite nice to be in such wonderful close proximity. So the North London credentials are are true and real. This is not just for PR. Oh, no, no, no. no. no, no. <laughs> Um, but you, so some of you are Londoners, some of you are Cornish. Mm -hmm. How, how's that influenced in the in the so music? Cornish. So he's the Cornish influence. James and I were born and bred in North London. Yeah. Uh, went to school together. Right. And uh, but we met Tommy four years ago. Four years ago at the Jamboree. At the Jamboree, that was it. Yeah, this is not North London, but that doesn't matter. That's all good. But uh, yeah, but we set up the Lamb session. Uh, which down Holloway Road, and ever since then, they kind of grew out of that. Yeah, I think that's the thing that really impresses me about uh, about this set and what you've brought together, and and it shows in the music is that you've not kind of come out of the obvious folk uh, conceptions of you know you've you've done it yourself. You've come together of a shared love, and actually, what you've you've you, you made it happen of your own accord. And and I, want, I kind of want to ask, if, was that the intention all along to try and redefine the sound and the, and the places where it existed? I'd say so. I think, question. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd say it was, it was certainly way, way, the way it developed. Um, we didn't expect it to go as far as it did. But at the same time, we weren't putting blocks. Um, we weren't saying, oh, we can't do this, we can't do that. I think it, just the way us three worked together, it seemed to be a natural progression. It's kind of worked out quite nicely. Yeah. Also, I think there is an incredible sound right now in London, um, mm. and you hear it at certain pubs at certain times of the week um, with certain group of musicians who are all incredibly talented, and we're lucky enough to be a part of that and to mm. you know, sort of be privileged enough to play uh, extensively. You know, we, um, our weekends in our don't exist, um, so we've we've kind of tapped into that. I think and owe a lot to this, the session scene in London. And it's quite nice to produce an album now which very much has come out of that sort of, that vibe of jamming and, and improvising and really letting pieces and music gestate. Yeah. Mm. That's why it's taken so long to put together. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah cause the, I mean, the, the, the raw ingredients are, are strong already. Um, but actually, the music that's in the album is, is it's, it's different. You've written it, it's obviously strongly leaning on the traditional tune style playing, but there's singing in it and there's some really kind of quite, yeah, improvised ideas that are coming from elsewhere. And I wondered what those influences are, is are and what, you know, where, where else, what other sounds has, has kind of been, has fed into the making of it? Well, I, I um I grew up playing Irish music through my family, just up the road on my road, Metal Kill. And uh, some of them are actually coming down tonight to watch this, which is going to be it's a nice little full circle, really. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of my background is the Irish and the Scottish music, and that's what I've grown up with and always played. You know. that's cool. For myself, I can sort of say I grew up playing uh, and really enjoying a lot of classical music. And spent many years obsessed with electronic music, to be honest, and um, and really loved seeing that element of of, of drive and uh, and of minimalism within folk music as well. That dancing minimalism that you mm. get in places. And so I, when we started arranging things, I really wanted there to be that quite that openness, but also intricacy. I came into it a bit later. I, um, when I was about 15, uh, about 14, 15 years old, James and his dad took me to my first session, and um, that was good fun. I just just bought my first low whistle. I was like learning tunes, playing tunes, and I really wanted to play pipes at the time. But of course, uh, not impossible to get a hold of. You don't know where to look. But it took a while, and I just got my first set when I was 15. 
But I started playing tunes I learned with James and his dad, and for me that's where it all came from. It was just, again, it's like James sort of Irish and Scottish tunes, going to sessions, learning, like listening to different bands, listening, working out how I can do maybe something a bit different. Mm. I guess that's really how I describe it, how I got into it. Yeah. So, album number one is done. It's, you're you're yeah. releasing it to the world today and you're going on a tour around bits of the country. Oh yes, oh yes. From here to North East. Ah. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Where next after that? What, what's the ambition for the record and for you as a group as well? Are you still making new music regularly? Is it kind of... Well, I'm trying to. Yeah. It's, hard. it's hard with everything going on at the same time, you know. To, yeah. Like if it took us two and a bit years to record this one, Imagine with everything going on, it's yeah. kind of difficult, but that, that's the plan. I think. Mm. I think we work best when we hide ourselves away. Yeah. So, off, most of this album has been created uh, on, for instance, on a trip to Ireland we made last year, or mm. on a number of visits to a valley in the very extremity of Cornwall. Um, and we've kind of hidden ourselves away for a week or so, and, mm. <clears throat> and then the music's evolved from there. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, well. But, yeah, what next? Yeah. yeah. More tunes. More tunes. More tunes. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be a late night session after the gig in here? That's what I want to know. There'll be enough musicians turning up. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. That'll be quite fun. Yeah, yeah. I, That's a good idea. So. I hope so. That's a good idea. Great. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, Dominic James, Tommy, thank you all very much. Thanks, good luck. Thanks.